everybody. I wanted to jump on here really quickly and share this uh, update with you about the Tasha K. Cardi B case. So the Neighborhood Talk is reporting that Tasha K. has officially filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Now, first I'm going to read to you how the article, what the article said, and then I'll explain to you what Chapter 11 is. And it says, we can exclusively report that Tasha K has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after a judge ordered her to pay nearly $4 million in defamation damages to Cardi B. Official documents obtained by the Neighborhood Talks' DeAsia Robinson show that Tasha and her attorney declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy on May 25, 2023. What does this exactly mean? A Chapter 11 debtor usually proposes a plan to reorganize to keep its business alive and pay creditors over a period of time. The plans are designed to keep the business operational during and following the bankruptcy process. With any application such as this one, a list of assets is required. We learned that Tasha currently has $95 in her Chase account. A total of her personal property includes purses, cars, clothes, engagement ring, business-related properties, etc., was equal to $58,595. She currently is not being evicted from her home. Tasha was ordered to pay Cardi nearly $4 million in damages after she accused the rapper of having herpes, amongst other shocking allegations. This is the first step in a long process of regaining her financial freedom. Now, let me explain to you exactly what a Chapter 11 is. Chapter 11 is usually used by big corporations or big businesses, like maybe a Walmart or a Chase Bank, something that's, you know, a big thriving business that somehow fell into uh, losing money. And it essentially is you going to a judge saying, I somehow fell into bankruptcy, I don't have enough money, we're not having any gains on our business. However, I have a new business plan that can bring in money over time. This new business plan that I have should work. Therefore, I want to work out some kind of payment plan where I could pay off this old debt until this new plan kicks in and I'll be bringing in more money. And it goes even further than that. You are allowed to ask for a loan to help you with this new plan that you have. Now, Cardi B's $4 million will be included in this bankruptcy. So the bank will have a set payment that will go to all these different creditors, including Cardi B and her $4 million. It's a really business savvy way of asking for a payment plan for Cardi B. But here's the catch. The judge has to sign off on it. Now, usually these are big businesses, corporations, LLCs. I don't really see too many bloggers. I mean, I've never seen a blogger be considered a big business. So I'm not sure what's going to happen next. And if I can remember correctly, this is what Kmart did. So Kmart is a huge corporation that's probably in every city in the United States. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant. I'm not sure if the if the judge is going to sign off on this or not. But hell, I guess it's worth giving it a try. It beats not doing anything at all and having her garnish your check every payday. Now, as far as the court of public opinion, you could look at this in many different ways. You could say that Tasha took her money, hid it somewhere in offshore accounts or in Africa where where her husband and family lives, and now she files bankruptcy. This could have been part of her plan the whole time. If you look at it that way, it's kind of a smart move. Well, it's a really smart move. You hide your money and then you claim bankruptcy. But let's not forget for the people that think it's a brilliant move. It's not brilliant yet until the judge signs off on it. And then there's those people that say, she all she had to do was take the video down. She lied on the stand. But at this point, let's be real. We're kind of past that. We know she lied. We know she should have took the video down. Now, as far as Cardi B's concerned, this might be a positive plus 
for Cardi B because she doesn't have to hire investigators to go around and try to find Tasha's money because that's going to cost millions of dollars. And who has time for that? Cardi B is spending more money than she's bringing in. So it's best for Cardi B just to get a monthly stipend for, I don't know, the rest of her life, however long it takes to pay off the $4 million. And then in the court of public opinion, Cardi B could say, see, I made her pay me. I made her pay me money. And then Tasha K could say in the court of public opinion, I'm still here. She did not bring me down. I still have a business that's bringing in money. And now that I'm thinking about it, that might be the best for all parties involved. But at the end of the day, they have to get a judge approval. So we have to sit back and see what the judge says. So that's the latest update on the uh, Tasha K and Cardi B situation. I'll keep you guys updated. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. (laughs) 